The mysteries of the universe are endless. Referred to as our final frontier into discovery, space has always contained extraordinary and mind-blowing mysteries since we first pointed our telescopes to the sky. This wonder and amazement has only grown as our technology has developed, allowing us to travel to these destinations we never believed possible. Instead of granting us answers to our questions, it has only led to grander theories and even more puzzling mysteries to surface. Our Sun's Twin Our Sun lies at the heart of the solar system, and it's no secret that it's massive. Scientists have figured out that the Sun is around 110 times the diameter of the Earth. This means that over 1 million Earths could fit inside the Sun. Researchers have come forward and said that when our Sun was born 4.5 billion years ago, it had a twin. However, this twin Sun was not identical. Harvard scientists have said that this was the same with every other star in our universe. It has in fact been proved that many stars do have companions. Astronomers are now focused on trying to understand whether binary and triplet star systems are born that way. Astronomers have been searching for the Sun's twin. This star goes by the name Nemesis. It's even been suggested that Nemesis is the reason behind the KT extinction. One of the largest mass extinction events to happen on our planet. It's also become known as the Die of the Dinosaurs. It's been theorized that Nemesis pushed an asteroid into the orbit of Earth. A research astronomer from UC Berkeley said the following. There probably was a Nemesis a long time ago. We have searched and tried to find out where this star resides. The system where this star would be has either broke apart or shrank. This other sun, however, would not have been near the current one. It's thought that at one point in time it could have been 800 million miles away from Earth. An idea is that this sun most likely escaped and then mixed with other stars in the Milky Way's region. As mentioned, this isn't science fiction either. Other researchers have come forward and said that this is not the first time that the idea that stars form with a companion has been suggested. A research paper is going to be featured in the Royal Astronomical Society. This will look at the origins of binary and multiple star systems. However, although this theory does have its supporters, there are those that don't believe in the nemesis theory. Some researchers have come forward and said that after studying craters, it doesn't back up the nemesis claim. Regardless, studies are still happening to try and prove the existence of this hypothetical star. The 2008 TC3 On October the 7th, 2008, an asteroid entered the Earth's atmosphere and exploded 37 kilometers above the Nubian Desert in Sudan. Scientists estimated that the asteroid had a diameter of 4.1 meters and weighed more than 80 tons. The asteroid disintegrated as a result of the explosion in the atmosphere and more than 600 meteorites belonging to this asteroid were recovered by scientists. Many of these meteorites belonged to the rare type known as uralites. These uralites contain a number of different minerals including nanodiamonds. Known as the TC3 asteroid, this was the first asteroid whose impact was predicted before entry into the Earth's atmosphere. The asteroid was discovered 19 hours before impact. It was discovered by Richard A. Kowalski, who was working at Catalina Sky Survey, a telescope in Arizona, United States. The meteor exploded 37 kilometers above the Earth's atmosphere. The energy of the explosion was measured to be equal to that of a 0.9 to 2.1 kilotons of TNT. A large fireball was created as a result of the explosion. According to media reports, the light from the explosion was so intense that it lit up the sky just like the full moon. An airliner that was traveling 1,400 kilometers away from the explosion reported seeing a very bright flash of light. After the explosion, Scientists started searching for the torn apart meteorites. Fifteen meteorites were discovered within the first three days of the explosion. After analysis, the researchers concluded that the asteroid TC3 belonged to a class of asteroids known as F-class asteroids. 
Researchers found amino acids on the collected meteorites, and they concluded that the source of the asteroid was most probably another planet in our own solar system. One of the pieces of the TC3 asteroid was gifted to Richard Kowalski, the scientist who discovered the asteroid before it had entered the Earth's atmosphere. According to scientists, it is not uncommon for asteroids of such a size to hit the surface of the Earth. In fact, two or three such asteroids hit Earth every year. The Mysterious Radio Signals from the M82 Galaxy For 10 years now, astronomers have been picking up mysterious radio signals from the M82 Galaxy. Located about 12 million light-years away, the Messier 82 is a starburst galaxy located in the Ursa Major constellation. This galaxy is five times more luminous than our Milky Way galaxy, and its centre is 100 times more luminous than our galaxy's centre. Receiving a radio signal from such a distant galaxy is quite mind-blowing. It opens up all kinds of possibilities. Researchers do not know anything about the object that is making these signals. The first signal from the M82 galaxy was received by the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia. Up until now, more than 20 signals have been discovered. As you would expect, this is one of the hottest topics in astronomy today. Some scientists have given the theory that these signals are coming from the high-energy pulsars that are being consumed by a black hole in the M82 galaxy. Another theory points towards the possibility of massive cosmic explosions. And then there is always a possibility, as per our own understanding, that an alien race might just be trying to contact us. The discovery of these mysterious radio signals from the M82 galaxy has given scientists a new hope about the possibility of an alien civilization. At the same time, it has also opened up a whole new mystery to be solved by researchers. Will we be able to see this mystery unfold during our lifetime? Only time will tell. The first radio broadcast Though its influence in history has been astounding, the small broadcasting device we know as the radio has not been around for very long. In fact, its inventor Nikola Tesla did not first conceive of the idea until 1885. Despite the young age of the device, it was made apparent that Mr. Tesla was far ahead of his own time when first coming up with its invention, being the only inventor of his time to be made aware of the electromagnetic spectrum and the ability to tap into its powers and uses. Oddly enough, Tesla wrote extensively in his notes that when he made the first radio capable of receiving and broadcasting his signal, as soon as he turned on the device, he could already hear another person's voice on the other side. He would later go on to claim that the people transmitting him a signal were those of beings living on the surface of Mars and that they were attempting to make first contact with him. This was only made more eerie as Nikola Tesla wrote that this voice was that of a man calling out his name, saying Tesla 123 over and over again before the signal cut out entirely. Many researchers speculate that this signal could have been nothing more than a background radiation misinterpreted caused by a solar wind of the sun. However, many believe that perhaps something far more creepy could have been going on in the background. No explanation for this strange occurrence has been provided, and still many speculate that perhaps Nikola Tesla made contact with something not quite human. Ranging from extraterrestrials to time travellers, the conspiracy theory community seems hell-bent on trying to discover the root cause of Nikola Tesla's first received broadcasts. The 1860 Great Meteor A unique meteoric phenomenon was observed on July 20, 1860. It is popularly known as the 1860 Great Meteor Procession. A number of people in different parts of the US saw several fireballs traveling across the sky at a very high speed. The Great Meteor Procession was also seen by Frederick Church, who was a renowned American landscape painter. He created an oil painting of the Meteor Procession portraying what he had witnessed. Most of the people who saw the strange Meteor Procession were baffled by the sight. 
The event could not be deciphered immediately due to the lack of widespread scientific knowledge, and it could not be observed in detail due to the lack of equipment required to observe such a phenomenon. However, over time, it has become one of the most popular meteor processions. It is believed that the famous American poet Walt Whitman was inspired by the Great Meteor Procession sighting in 1860, and this event led him to write his famous poem, Year of Meteors. In 2010, 150 years after the Great Meteor Procession, it was finally determined that the phenomenon was an Earth-grazing meteor procession.